Hey, and what's up? It's Genshi here from Idio Freak with another review. Today, I'm reviewing Turgol, Rapid Fighting. If you end up liking what you see here, don't be afraid to show us some love with that like and subscribe button. So, Turgol, Rapid Fighting. This is, uh, it's a game? Yeah, yeah, I suppose Turgol, Rapid Fighting is a game. Uh, it features the main character, Bam Bang which appears to be a Chinese martial artist on his way to fighting fame. The game sees Bam Bang along with his friend practicing and fighting in a martial arts ring. And that's about it for story. The game randomly has events that kind of occur in the background, but they're nonsensical. There isn't much in the way of story here. So let's go ahead and move on to the gameplay then. Turgle Rapid Fighting has an interesting game mechanic. Think of it kind of like a left-click simulator. It has you clicking on the mouse furiously to build up a meter of 1 to 3. This meter allows you to do a light attack, a medium attack, and a hard attack. While this is going on, another meter builds in the background which allows you to block or dodge incoming attacks. The fighters furiously attack each other until one of the special moves are selected, and then they actually do damage. Uh, yeah, in between these matches, Bam Bang can practice with his friend, or buy Sate to top off his health, and then it's back to the ring. Alright, the game doesn't have much game in it. I have to admit, I believe I've played roughly about an hour and a half of the game, and at that point I had to stop. I got it, I understood it, I feel like I played all the game has to offer, not to mention I was afraid I'd break my mouse. The enemies would get gradually tougher as you played, and they would actually dodge moves or block moves or attack faster with much stronger moves, but your character never really grows in strength. It'd be one thing if after every fight, you actually got points to put into skills, but instead you just get more money to pay for sate and your registration fees for the fighting tournaments you're playing in. The game does have some fun though, just a tad bit of levity is brought to it. I fought characters like the Kamen Rider, Batman, and Ryu just to name a few. I mean, Ryu's name was Ron, but I know a Hadouken, a Tatsumaki, and a Shoryuken when I see one. Hell, he even goes evil Ryu on you, forcing me to go into some kind of Tengu Goblin mode? I don't know what that is, and to be honest, the game never explains it. So, this is going to be a short one, folks. I rate games on a scale of lame, rough, solid, excellent, and amazing, with amazing being my highest praise. Turgle Rapid Fighting easily earns a lame. There isn't much in the way of mechanics, there's no story, and the little bit of charm it has with its cameoed characters kind of feels tacky and wasted. Even the MIDI music in the background feels kind of half-assed. But as always, this is just my opinion, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments below. Here at Idio Freak, we want you to think on your own frequency. So did you play this game? What was the roughest game you've played in recent history? Go ahead and let us know. Anyway, this has been Genshi with Idio Freak, and don't forget to show us some love with that like and subscribe button. Check out some of our other reviews and indie game shoutouts. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Freak Nation out.